Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, the temperatures over the next couple of days going to be similar to what we've already seen. Uh, highs will be in the low 90s today and tomorrow. And then we get into Wednesday, temperatures will get knocked down a little bit, upper 80s. And we get into Thursday, temperatures will get knocked down even more. Low 80s, and a little side note here, some of the models suggesting we'll be in the upper 70s on Thursday. So either way, cool down Thursday. Friday, 85 degrees, the average is 83. So we're finally going to cool down around midweek. But there'll be a chance of rain later this week, too. Now at the moment, we've got this big area of high pressure. Even though it's anchored off to our southeast, it's very large, and this is just the center of it. It's actually impacting a lot of the east coast, so that's why we got a lot of clear skies here. We have uh, southwesterly winds the, around this system, and that is just a big heat pump. So today, we're starting off in the 70s, mostly, and we're going to end up in the 90s. Right now, it's 73. Newport News, Norfolk, near 70 in uh, Virginia Beach. 60s inland Portsmouth. We're in the 70s in downtown. In 67 Chesapeake, 74 right now in Hampton. We got mostly clear skies. Through the day, we're going to have a lot of sunshine, so that's going to heat things up. We look at future uh, track, and right now through uh, noon, we're talking about mostly sunny skies and mostly sunny through 3 o'clock. No green on the map, so not expecting rain for today. But yesterday, there was one stray shower down across North Carolina. There might be another one of those today, so just keep that in mind. One or two in the whole region. Now, overnight, we'll have mostly clear skies. No problems there. Muggy. And then tomorrow, we've got mostly clear skies in the morning. Getting in the afternoon, we're going to see uh, well, possibly an isolated shower storm in the region again. This time, there's a little bit better chance, 20%. Uh, so I think we could see maybe a stray shower storm out there. But it's a low chance, even lower for the heart of Hampton Roads. And then Wednesday will have a higher chance of rain, about 40%. So for today, highs near 90 in Nags Head, 91 in Elizabeth City, 92 in Edenton, hot and humid. Even though we're in the low 90s, many cities, it'll feel like the mid 90s with the heat index. And the temperature in Chesapeake and Franklin will be in the mid 90s. 92 in Virginia Beach, 93 in Norfolk, 92 in Portsmouth, 93 Suffolk. We have Smithfield, 93 degrees, 90 in Hampton, 91 in Pocosin, 92 Newport News, upper 90s in Williamsburg. Always heating up more there. Highs near 90 in Melfa, but upper 80s in Cape Charles, and 92 degrees in Gloucester with a lot of sunshine. The beach forecast looks good. You got waves to one foot, not much for surfing, but good for swimming. Rip current risk is low, and the water temperatures are in the upper 60s. Good place to go to cool down today. The boating forecast winds southwest 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 3 feet, the base 1 to 2 feet, high tides 11.50 a.m. Now, tomorrow, much of the same. Highs in the low 90s, lots of sunshine, maybe a stray shower storm popping up. A little better chance of rain on there on Wednesday as we cool down, 89. We cool down just a little bit there, though. We cool down a lot more on Thursday, 82 degrees. And some scattered showers and storms and highs in the 80s in through Saturday.